morning everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So we are back in the barn. Um, we are actually done milking and probably you guys noticed it is very quiet in here. And the reason for that is it's going to be about 50 degrees today so you can see it's really sunny and really beautiful. But it is however very very windy. The wind is supposed to be 45 to 50 miles an hour today so we're probably not going to be working much outside. Um, as you can see past the skid steer there we did finally get both of the spreaders down here. Um, and the night spreader if you remember, I told you guys that our night spreader had a chain that was loose and we were gonna fix that. We were gonna take it off and we were gonna have somebody break the chain. You can grind them off, but it's kind of dangerous, so we don't really like doing that. So we were gonna take it somewhere and break it. Um, but that was before we realized that the only reason the chain was a little bit loose was because apparently the frozen poop in it was putting some stress on it and it was stretching the chain a little bit. So once we got that run out after a warm day, um, it went right back to normal and it's fine, so we don't have to do anything to that. We also changed the oil bath on that manure spreader. It was very watery. And we put the oil from the 1066 in it, the engine oil, and some engine oil from my truck because we did change my truck's oil this morning as well. And we're going to put Brent's in there too. So that should be enough to make sure that that oil bath is nice and full and lubricating that chain really well. So anyway, I think I was explaining why it was so quiet in here was because it's supposed to be 50 degrees today, and it is really warm right now. You guys can tell I'm just wearing a long sleeve shirt. So we opened up both doors. This door and also the door way down there is open as well, and we shut off all the fans, so it's very, very quiet in here. Honestly, we're probably going to lose power anyway, so it's fine that the fans are off. And we just got the doors open, so there's plenty of ventilation in here, and the girls are really comfortable. So if you are new to these videos, I did want to explain a few things to you guys. So a lot of people ask if our cows have enough chain length to lay down and sleep, and the answer is of course they do. Yes, they lay down all the time. Honestly, if we're not in here, they're probably laying down because they are very lazy and they love their barn. So typically they are laying down if we're not in here and they're not eating, then they're laying down. Um, you can see they're very chilled out, very calm. Hi, stall cows. They aren't out right now because we do like to let them out onto a pad that is outside and it doesn't have any cover other than the freestall. And we don't like to let them out just in the freestall. We like to let them out on the freestall and the pad. And the pad is currently frozen right now, so it is not safe for the girls out there. So that is the reason they're still in the barn. Um, but come late spring, they will be going out to pasture late May, early June most of the time. Sometimes middle of May, if we have really, really good weather, they will be going out to pasture because these are pasture cows. You guys can see that fencing over there that is part of the pasture. It goes all the way down around the back of the barn and all the way up the other side of the barn. I think Brent told me he thinks it's around 25 to 30 acres of pasture, so um, they're out for pasture in the summer, all day, all night. Um, they can come up to the freestall whenever they choose if they don't want to be outside. So these are very, very spoiled cows, and they know it because they are just so chilled out and so relaxed. So I did want to explain that to you guys, and if you are new here, I hope you enjoy these videos, and I hope you come back for more because we would be so happy to have you. So. Um, getting right into it today, we did a little bit of barn cleaning. You can see we swept this, although we fed hay, so now it doesn't look like we swept it at all. Um, cleaned up the barn aisle and everything, bedded the girls, they look great. Um, also, if you're new here, we have 70 cows. Um, this is a 72 tie stall barn. There are 70 cows in here and one heifer and one bull out back. Sometimes more, sometimes less, but yes, we do milk around 65 to 70 cows. Um, so this slide is pretty much finished all their feed. By the way, we are keeping Wendy. Um, you guys saw her in the last video I did. Some of you asked what she was, and I completely forgot that I didn't mention that she is a Jersey Holstein cross. And I'm pretty sure Brent said that he has an appointment for her next week to get her horns taken off because we are going to be letting the cows out for sure next Monday. Which brings us to what we're going to be doing today. We are going to be cleaning off the pad out back and I'll take you guys out and show you that, show you how much snow has melted because it's unbelievable considering that it has not been warm around here. It's been raining though and I think that's what made most of it go away. So yeah, Brent's got an appointment for her next week so she will not be going out with the cows on Monday. She will be staying in because I think her appointment is on Wednesday. Also you guys, Happy Easter. I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter. You got together with your families and just had a great time. So yes, she will not be going outside. If you guys cannot tell, I've had way too much coffee today. Um, here's a perfect example of a cow laying down. So you can see she's got plenty of slack in her chain to lay down. Most of them actually like to lay down and then curl their head up against their stomach and sleep like little angels because they're adorable. 
So yes, they can definitely lay down. And also we get a lot of questions about how our cows get water. So between each cow, <laughs> there is a water bowl with a button on it and they can just press it whenever they want and get clean, fresh water whenever they choose. They can drink as much as they want, as little as they want. And a lot of them are very good at holding it and drinking at the same time, so that's pretty smart. They're pretty smart animals. So Brent just came out with a sandwich we're gonna eat, and then we're gonna go right out back and clean off that pad. I did, however, wanna show you guys we had two adorable new babies. So this right here is our first Normandy heifer. Um, her, we've named her April, and we are going to be keeping her. She is quite adorable. She is very big for a heifer, but she's kind of crazy. She is wild. I went to feed her, and she just went like psychotic when she got a hold of that bottle. So she's plenty lively. So that's April. We're really excited about her, really excited about keeping her. And we also had a bull, um, which somebody just came and decided he wanted him. So he'll be going in a few days because he's too young to go right now. Um, but he did say that he wanted him, so he will be going probably before Easter because right now it is Friday. So, yes, I'm going to go eat and then we'll get out there and we'll get on the tractor, clean up that pad, and see what we get into for the rest of our day. Okay. It is very cold out there. Head around back and see how he's coming on now. This is one side of it. The snow hasn't even melted out of it yet. You can just see how much less snow there is. Oh. There is, however, still a snowbank here. I just ran right over that. Good lord. Alright, let's put it in four wheel drive here. So I just push it up and he'll push it into my bucket and then I'll dump it over the edge of the pit. It's really heavy though. I gotta ask him where he wants me to dump it. The first one? Okay. Alright, so we're gonna put this sucker in low because that is some heavy crap. So this is the pad I was talking about. Um, they can just come out here and stand. They got a nice water tank over there, which is actually an old milk tank. Um, so they can go over there. It's got an automatic water on it. There's also an automatic water in the pasture. So they can have water in the pasture whenever they want. So I'm just gonna dump this right here.
both at the same time. over there because they're probably plugged with ice just to drain this water out before we let the girls out because there's a leech field right there you can see that the girls can't get into it's fenced around um, there's the rest of the pasture um, it's pretty muddy right there but everything else is grass all the way around so I think that is it I think we're done because there's a lot of hay on the pad because we usually do feed them out on the pad. So we like to let that sit in a pile and degrade for a while before we spread that out. I've mentioned that before. Um, it is extremely windy out here, so gotta clean that up. Um, we do also have to put a mineral block out for them because we like to have a mineral block out for them. I'm not sure what Brent's doing, but so this is what it looks like. So the girls will be able to come out. We gotta tighten this fence right here because it's electrified just so they don't get out, but they still do get out sometimes because they're cows. Um, so yeah, they can just come out here and get out in the sunshine. We can give them hay out here and they enjoy just standing out here in the sun and getting some outdoor time and some exercise. And they can go in the free stall if they want and lay down in a stall and relax. Um, I just can't wait to get the girls outside. I'm so sick of this cold, windy weather. I really do hope it changes pretty soon because I'm just ready for spring. This is ridiculous. This is the other ramp where we can go up and dump into the pit from there. That one is just gravel, so it's a lot less muddy, but... cleaning off the pad a lot of the girls are in the barn laying down right now I'm just hanging out with Bobby Joe who is laying down as well um, sometimes I like to come in and snuggle with them because they don't mind and they're very warm and comfy 
So we're all done. That's probably all we're gonna do today because it is very windy outside and very cold. And it's supposed to be nicer, so we'll have plenty of time to work on our equipment. Hopefully, Mary's like, what are you doing? Hi. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below, and hit that notification bell so you know when any new videos are being posted. Keep it real, keep farming, and I will see you guys in the next video. Say bye, Mary. How about you, Bobby? Bye. <laughs> She's slobbered all over it. <laughs>